Did you see the abortion ban in Arizona? Yeah, it, it's, it's pretty crazy, because in case you haven't seen, the state Supreme Court, I believe, reinstated an 1864 law that bans abortion across the board, no exceptions, right? And people are, you know, obviously protesting, people are going back and forth online and everything. And I've been thinking about it a lot, because I'm thinking about it from the perspective of someone who will never, like, need one himself. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like I'm, like, I'm never gonna get with somebody and then be like, she hit it and quit it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know I mean? <laughs> and so I was thinking about it, because it's, 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 it's in Arizona, but Arizona wasn't even actually like a state when this law went into effect. Like, like Arizona didn't become a state till 1912. Like Arizona wasn't born yet. And it's, it's, it's such a contentious thing because it's so much about belief, right? There's one side that believes that there's like murders happen. They, be, they believe that people are dying. And then there's another side that believes in uh, their autonomy. They're like, no, you can't just come in here and tell me what to do, right? And no matter where you land, I've, I've tried to think of a way through, like a path, right? something that makes things a bit more fair, you know? And I'm not, I'm not perfect, and I'm not a woman, so I don't know if this is helpful, but it feels like everyone who wants the 1864 law should just have to live like it's 1864. <laughs> they shouldn't mind anyway. We're bringing back the laws, why not the lifestyle? You know? Like, you can, have, you can have the law that you want. You win, you got it, but also no more medicine for you. That's done. <laughs> Dad's flush those down the toilet. And when, and when you do, enjoy that last flush, because toilets are also off. <laughs> those are done, too. Yeah. I don't know. Feels... Feels like we're leveling the stakes a little bit, you know? Some of these people that want these laws, it's not, it's not actually gonna affect them. So you have to bring them in, give them some skin in the game, right? If it's 1864, oof. One bad taco. <laughs> it might really take you out. I'm, I just, I just want a good doctor. <laughs> I live in New York and you think there'd be one, but I, <laughs> I don't know, I just wanna have a good doctor I can depend on and go to a lot. Cause I was going to this one doctor just for a, just a checkup, right? Just a physical, cause I hadn't gone to a doctor in like a year and a half. I've been blessed enough to not have more than a cold. So I just wasn't going to the doctor and um, I finally went and, you know, he had the, the popsicle stick and he was like, go ah, and I was like, ah, and he's like, no, ah, I'm like, ah, and he's like, no, like, ah, and I was like, ah, and then he's putting the popsicle stick in my mouth, he's like, no, like, go ah, and I'm like, ah, and he's like, deeper, I was like, don't say that to me, <laughs> not for this. And so he's like, go ah, and I'm like, ah. And then this thing happened, and I understand people are human, but this is, this is unacceptable, right? So I'm like, ah, and then he's like, yeah, like, ah. But then he is going ah so much that he goes like, ah, ah, uh, and then he coughed in my mouth. And I understand that we all human and everything, we all make mistakes, but like you, this is half off now. Like you can't. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, you're not just gonna charge my full insurance because now I got what you got. <laughs> a 
I'm, I'm, I'm a black dude. A black dude with plenty of white friends. And uh, it's crazy because you know there, there's there's a there's a weird thing that you have to watch out for as a as a black dude with white friends. You know, you gotta watch out for a little tokenism in there. You gotta watch out. You know, you gotta go to the function. Make sure there's another one of you. Because you, you, you don't want it to be just you. You don't want to be the only black friend. Because now I just know it's like, oh, you collecting. <laughs> one black guy, one Asian guy. Oh, this is not good. This is <laughs> grabbing us like infinity stones. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's very uncomfortable. <laughs> but there are some tells to know, like, you know, past friendship and past any sort of like like social constructs around race. There are ways to tell as a black person all by yourself how close your white friends really are to you, how, how they feel about you. You, as a black person, don't always know who your white friends are until they take a picture of you. <laughs> Some of you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> cameras weren't necessarily made with melanin in mind <laughs> and every once in a while you'll have a white friend take a picture of you or a picture of you and them and you don't come out looking great <laughs> and you'll show them the picture you'll be like what is this you made me look like a cat like what is what is happening right now and they're like looks great to me oh okay that's terrifying news, because that means this is how I look to you all the time. <laughs> if you don't see a difference, I don't know if we could be friends. This is insanity. You know, love a white friend who thinks about a flash. <laughs> Sometimes, at the sacrifice of themselves. I've had some wonderful white friends who have been like, let's, let's make sure that everybody in the picture looks good. We'll put the flash on. I don't even have to say anything. Just in my head, I'm like, wow, what a white friend. What a true ally. And then we'll take the picture and I come out looking amazing. We're coming out looking extra Nubian, you know? Like a, like a young prince. And then they look like a fresh ghost. And this is where hypocrisy comes into play. This is where everyone can be a little racist because I'll see the picture and I'll be like, I don't really see a problem here at all. I think that... <laughs> you look great to me. <laughs> I'll be vulnerable for a second. Tell you. I, I'm lucky to be staying in a, in a very nice hotel this time, right? But I, I did a show in, in Detroit back in the day, and every time I do a show in Detroit, I don't really get a good hotel. I don't know if Detroit doesn't have them, but <laughs> even when I stay at a different place, I'm having the same experience. And basically, um, I got some food, and was going to my hotel room. I was eating the food in my hotel room, and proceeded to get food poisoning in the hotel room, right? So I'm very sick, I'm feeling horrible. And I'm feeling horrible quickly, which means this could be death, you know what I mean? <laughs> Usually, even as poison, it sits for a second. It decides to stretch before it poisons, right? Like, try some, let me get my, you know? But this poison went right to work, and so I, I, I ran, I ran to the bathroom and was in the bathroom for what had to be like 45 minutes, right? Like, I just, I say that because I, I, f <laughs> I just finished an, an episode of, um, answer it, yeah. Um, <laughs> I say that because I finished an episode of uh, Love is Blind, and I think that's around <laughs> 45 minutes. 
And, and so I was, I was in there for quite a while and you know, you, you do your best, you know, while you're, <laughs> you do your best. And because this was not a good hotel room, this, this is not my fault, but because it's not a good hotel room, things in the hotel room are not good, right? So like the, the little cabinets are rickety and everything. And at a certain point, the uh, toilet does stop flushing. And I don't know what to do because they put, a, they, they, they put everything in there, but they don't put enough in there. Like there's no, there, there's no plunger in the room. And I, I kind of get why, because I understand if, you're, if you go to a hotel room and there's already a plunger in there, you're like, I'm not in a good place. <laughs> I'm not, mm -mm, this is, so, things have happened here. If there's already a plunger in here, I don't want to live this life. I need to try to get my money back, right? But when you need a plunger and there's not one, you are like, why don't they just have a plunger in here? You know, and there's no, you know, there's no cabinet with certain things like a broom or a plunger that you would need. And so I, you know, I, I finish up, I got most of the poison out and I, now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do though. Cause I'm in this room for two days. And I don't know, I, just, I personally, I, I let things bother me and I let my mind go to place, like I'll, I'll go with a scenario to a place that it would probably never go, but I'm so in my head about it, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, like there's a part of me that's scared that if they know that this is me, because now I have to tell them. Now I, you know what I mean? Now I'm basically supposed to go downstairs because I can't call down because the phone is broken. It's not a good hotel room. <laughs> and so now I basically have to go downstairs and be like, hey, listen, I got some food from where y'all recommended, by the way. And it poisoned me. I was poisoned. And then I had to work the poison out. Anyway, do you have a plunger? Like, I, like that is too much in my mind to have to do with a stranger. Like, did... And I was like, I was even honestly kind of rehearsing it in the mirror. Like I was just like, if I just, or if I just asked for a plunger or if I'm like, hey, do you have any extra bathroom supplies? And then they're like, toilet paper. I'm like, guess again. <laughs> like, I don't know, I don't know what to do next, but I'm panicking. And I like, sometimes I really do, I don't let people see it, but sometimes I really work myself into a frenzy. And so I was like practicing in the mirror what I might say. And then I was like, no, because then even if I plunge it myself, I don't even want them to come in because then they'll think of me like that. For I can't leave a tip big enough for, <laughs> I also can't leave a tip big enough because I don't have the money to stay in a nicer place. So like we are all meeting on the level right now, right? And so I'm like, I'll plunge it myself, but then if I plunge it, then where, where do I put the plunge? I... <laughs> and so then I go downstairs and I'm standing in front of the front desk and somebody else was checking in, so I let them check in and then I walk up and I'm like, hey, uh, uh, <laughs> I think my room got broken into. <laughs> And it just sort of came out of my mouth. <laughs> but they were like, what? And I was like, oh yeah, I came back and the door was open and stuff. Y'all don't have cameras to you. You wouldn't have cameras. This is in a nice hotel, so. Okay, y'all have to take my word for it. Thank goodness. Um, yeah, I said, so it came back and my door was cracked open. Maybe I didn't close it enough. That's my bad, but can you, uh, I don't know. I just don't know what to do. This has never happened to me before. And so then, they're like, well, let us, let us see <laughs> if anything was taken. And so I was like, oh, I didn't want this to happen either. Uh, <laughs> and they walk with me back to my room. <laughs> and so I, I open the door and, and the bathroom door is, is closed. Um, <laughs> I had to close it, even for me, it smells like poison in there. 
And so the bathroom door is closed, so that we're walking around the room. Now, I have been quite messy, so it does look a little robbed in there, which is very convenient for the lie I just told. Like, there's, you know what I mean? There's just, the bag is open and it's upside down. I did that. Like, I just got frustrated. I couldn't find my fidget spinner, and so I was like, oh. But... But then I'm looking around, and they're looking around. They're like, do you see anything missing? I'm like, no, no, not really. And I slip back behind them while they're looking around. And they're like, yeah, it doesn't look like they kicked the door open or anything. And then I open the bathroom door. I'm like, oh. something bad in here. <laughs> Y'all need to up security. Y'all... <laughs> Look, look, nobody should, else have, should have to deal with this. Do y'all have a plunger? Because I, I will do it myself. 